Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. I am banging these videos out. I told you I would come back with some videos for you that you have been requesting. This video is going to be talking about crown area damage. Mainly your crown section. A lot of people have damage in that area. And um, I think first and foremost, you need to find out what is causing the damage. I know specifically for me, in my case, I used to wear high ponytails. And um, more specifically, um, when I used to have relaxed hair, I used to wear fake ponytails that came with like the two combs and then a drawstring, drawstring ponytail. And I used to wear it in the same place every single day. So that constant, the comb constantly touching my scalp in that crown area every day irritated that area. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that was one of the possible causes of my crown area damage. I also used to have a habit of, and I would say it's attributed to being lazy. I used to do my hair in buns a lot or the, wear the fake ponytails and I would not moisturize my crown area. I would let it get dry. I would moisturize everything on the outside, like the edges, whatever, make sure that ponytail was slick and sleek as long as it looked really nice and then all the inside of my hair I did not moisturize don't ask me why I don't know I can only say I was probably lazy so that attributed to a lot of my crown area damage um, at least when I was relaxed when I became natural I still noticed from transitioning from um, relaxed hair to natural that um, that area just still suffered a lot because from all the damage that I had done to it previously like even from transitioning to natural like that area always was more weak it was more fragile it was more thin than the rest of my hair and then I started to think at one point that everyone's crown area is just like that but that's not true um, when I really started to see a change in my crown area is when I started to pinpoint, okay, what is it that I'm doing that, you know, is making my crown area like this? And once again, like I told you, it was the ponytails, it was the not moisturizing, and when I became natural, it was um, the deep conditioning. Like, I, deep, I thought I was deep conditioning when I would use like a regular rinse out conditioner and leave it in for an extended period of time yes that would make my hair soft and moisturize but it wasn't really helping the health of my hair like when you deep condition you need to get a specific product that is for deep conditioning or you can make your own and when you're making something that you want to deep condition your hair you you want to look at what the nutrients are in that product like castor oil grapeseed oil, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, and then you may have some essential oils like rosemary or lavender, things that are nourishing to your hair. Avocado, um, what are some of the others? Shea butter, things like that. Like You want to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair with products that are natural and um, they have nourishment in them so that your hair can gain strength nourishment as well as softness and that's going to help that part of your hair thrive another thing that i was doing was i was parting my hair in four so one section here one section here one section here one two in the front two in the back which left the middle area exposed and constantly parting your hair the same way all the time that leaves that open area in the middle exposed to breakage prone to breakage prone to dryness and everything like that and so that area which was my crown still remained weak so what I changed about that was that I started to now section my hair where I have a specific section for the crown one in the front one in the um, two in the front and two in the back or however whatever way I section my hair I make sure that that middle section the crown area has its own section and then now I go ahead like when I'm moisturizing at nighttime I'm putting extra product in that crown area like the oil or whatever I make sure it's moisturized with water 
water is your moisturizer so that means whatever product you're using that claims to moisturize water better be the first ingredient oils are not moisturizers they help to seal in moisture which is water but they are not moisturizers so if you think you're just gonna put oil on your hair and you're never gonna put water you're gonna have oil sitting on top of your hair for the most part so make sure you get in that water also um what else yeah so I would say um, definitely look at if you're wearing ponytails that are too tight, um, any styles that are pulling on that section of the hair, how you're parting your hair if you're leaving that part exposed, are you deep conditioning and when you deep condition are you going in that crown area making sure that you um, deep condition. Now if you already have damage to where the roots are thick and the ends are thin, you may want to cut off the damage gradually. I know you don't want to just cut everything off at one time. I think one time I did do that. I had enough um, hair that wasn't damaged to where I could just cut off the damage. I didn't care. And But you know, if you don't want to do it at once, cut off the damaged portions like the split end parts of that crown area. Cut it off gradually as it's growing. You cut some off as it's growing. That way nobody will be able to tell. Also try to do some protective styles that, because um, a lot of people think braids and things like that are protective, which they are. But if when you take the braids out, a lot of hair is coming out. You're really just undoing the whole purpose of protecting your hair. You know, if your braids are too small, if they're too tight, if when you remove them, you're just really careless about how you remove them and hair is coming out. Also, when you're detangling that area or you just running the comb through dry hair and you're defeating the whole purpose of protecting your hair. So try to focus on protective styles that really are protecting your hair when you put them in and when you take them out. You want to also think about a protein moisture balance. If that area of your hair is weak, you may want to start doing like little protein treatments or whatever. I use the Afigy, um 2 Minute Reconstructor. It's not too strong. They have a stronger version like the 2 Minute no, they have the two-step. I've never used that one. That's the more intense one. I use the one you could put in your hair for five minutes, the um, two-minute reconstructor to strengthen that area up. Also, deep conditioning. Also, Afigy has a, a spray, um, a restructurizer, which I have a video on that. I'll link that in the description. So You can use oils like castor oil, rosemary oil. Like Do your research, guys, because a lot of you write me questions that if you just took a minute to go on Google or look up on YouTube, you will find the answers. A lot of you guys are lazy. Remember in the beginning of the video, I told you I was lazy. I didn't want to moisturize the, the middle of my hair, but I was wondering why is it damaged? You know, the same thing can apply to you too. You're lazy. You need to stop being lazy. Stop thinking other people have the answers to your problems and do some research and actually put the research that you have done to good use. Pinpoint where you feel that, you know, the damage is coming from. Then make some adjustments in your regimen. Come up with a regimen where if you're going to wash your hair once a week, Every time you wash it, you're going to deep condition. When you're styling your hair at night, make sure you're making a separate section in the center and you moisturize it, whether you're doing twists or braids, whatever you do to dress your hair at night so the next day you can style it. Do that. Keep that section moisturized. Deep condition your hair with products that are nurturing and nutritious to your hair. Also, what you eat. Try to get in some vegetables, fruits, water, leafy greens, the nutrition that's inside of your body will help also. And also when you go to bed at night, wear a satin scarf. I sell them on my site at c.com slash shop slash charisma for you so that at night your hair is not rubbing up against the pillow and you know creating friction and causing damage. If you like bonnets, you don't like scarves, you can wear a satin bonnet. I sell them on my site etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you. I also have hair socks, a different alternative 
you know, I just have different, different types of things that you could do. So cover your hair at night. Make sure you're moisturizing your hair. Make sure you're leaving a separate section for that crown area. Make sure you're using nurturing products that have vitamins and stuff like that in them that are natural for your hair. You can also take a multivitamin. Um... Yeah, and that's about it. I've done videos on this more than once, but just consider this an extra updated video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get to you. I hope that I was able to help um, with you guys asking me so many questions about the crown area. Um, yeah, let me know. Don't write me a whole story about you don't know what's going on with your hair. You know what's going on. Really sit down and ask yourself the question and then try to pinpoint and then come up with a plan. The health of your hair is in your hands, so you gotta be proactive, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my online store, etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you. I love you all, I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.